Hi, Rodney here with techtestdrives.com. Today I've got something very special for you today. This is the soon to be released Pebble smartwatch. Now it's a smart device uh, that you wear on your wrist um, and it connects to your iPhone or Android phone uh, and notifies you of incoming notifications such as uh, phone calls, SMS, emails, calendar and can also control your music player on your phone. Now this started off as a Kickstarter campaign and it resulted in just over 10 million US dollars in funding. So that shows you that there is a lot of demand for a smart device like this and as a consequence there are reports that Apple are also working on a wearable device as well. Now these aren't available for purchase in the stores just yet. Um, people are shipping these only to their original backers from their Kickstarter campaign. However, you can go to the Pebble website and purchase a pre-order. We'll have a quick look at the box before I open it up. Um, if you're familiar with a Kindle or have owned a Kindle, you'll recognize this packaging immediately. Um, it's just the black and brown cardboard box with a simple pull tab along one edge. Um, I've blanked out the delivery details there. Um, pretty plain packaging. You can see here that it is compatible with there we go, Android, iPod and iPhone, and it runs by Bluetooth. And then on the back here, we can see what phones they're compatible with. Now, the iPhone 5 um, came out after this packaging, so it is compatible with the iPhone 5 as well. And you can see here that you require um, an Android 2.3.3 and up if you want to use this with an Android phone. So let's get stuck straight in and see what's in the box. So again similar to a Kindle, it's very basic uh, on the inside. Um, it tells you here to get started using the phone to visit their website. Um, also, you will need to go to either the Google Play Store on an Android phone or the App Store on an iPhone and download the Pebble software, which helps it communicate with the watch. You can see here that I purchased uh, the black edition. They are available in multiple colors, just the faceplate here. Um, I'll take off this plastic. So it's a minimalistic design three buttons on the side here, another button on the other side and you can see some contacts there. Now that will be for the charger. Now it's a USB so you can plug that into your computer and then connect it to the watch and it will charge. It takes roughly two to three hours for a full charge and the battery is supposed to last up to seven days uh, which is a great battery uh, life. However, I will put it through the test and see if that is realistic. Um, now you can also plug that um, into your iPhone or iPad charger if you want to use it as a wall charger, so that's great. Now the charging connector uh, is magnetic, so I'll just plug it on and it snaps in nice and securely there. Now the watch strap um, is very basic, it's just a simple rubber watch strap uh, that should be comfortable. Um, what I do like about these rubber watch straps is that when you're typing, um, say on um, an Apple laptop, which are all aluminium, at least the rubber will not scratch it. If you have a metal watch strap, obviously you're going to end up damaging um, the palm rest on your aluminium laptops. Now on the back, you can see here that this is the Kickstarter edition um, and they have all their coding and certification on the back as well, um, along with the serial number. It has a nice light design. This is actually lighter than any of my um, digital or analog watches. Uh, the actual device itself is not intrusive. It, 
it's quite a nice compact little design there. Um, and this is waterproof, so you can use this uh, to go swimming and you can leave it on when you're in the shower. The display is e-ink, which is exactly the same as a Kindle, so that provides this with its fantastic battery life. Um, and also allows you to see this outside in the direct sunlight, which is really important. What I'll do is I'll try to turn it on. I'm not sure if there's any battery charge on it, uh, but we'll soon find out. Okay, yep. Okay, so it's nice and fast. Um, so there is a backlight on the display. You may not be able to see it um, on this camera, uh, but um, there is a backlight that comes on when you push the buttons and it stays on for a few seconds. The buttons are nice and firm to press, they feel solid. What I'll do is I will go ahead and install the Pebble software uh, onto my iPhone, connect it up and have a bit of a play around and just see how all the different functions work. To see part two of this video, I'll leave a link in the description down below. I'll also leave an annotation up here in the top right corner. So this has been the unboxing of the Pebble watch. I'm Rodney from techtestdrives.com.